What's up guys, this is Matt aka Lloyd Milligan and today I'm bringing you a uh, product review. This is the new Razer Onsa controller. This is the standard edition, it's not the tournament edition. So uh, it doesn't have all the uh, bells and whistles that uh, the tournament edition has, but it has some cool stuff. And I want to show you guys uh, kind of what's good about it. So um, first thing you, hear, you see here on the right is the uh, the Razer Onsa standard edition controller. On the left you see a standard wireless Xbox controller. Uh, the the uh, standard, the Microsoft one. So <clears throat> yeah, just kind of as a basis comparison for size. Um, and yeah, it is a wired controller. It has quite a bit. It's got about 15 feet of cable. So uh, it's it's not really an issue. It's plenty of cable, and it's got the quick release coupler on the end, uh, just like the standard wireless controller does. So uh, yeah, it's kind of the basics. So um, oh yeah, and I want to point out too, I'm a user of the FP FPS Freaks, and uh, they fit nicely right on the uh, right on the controller. So uh, yeah, it works pretty well. So uh, the first thing I want to uh, talk about is uh, sort of the unique features to the controller. Uh, the first one is the uh, D-pad. As you can see, this one has four separate buttons, whereas the standard controller has just one big button. Uh, not that big a deal. It doesn't feel that different to me, but uh, yeah, it's something to, something that sets it apart, I guess. Um, let's see. Next, moving along, uh, the triggers. I really like the triggers on this one. Uh, you can see here. It's got this uh, kind of extra little curve there, so it just fits real nicely. Oh yeah, before I forget, it's got this extra button here on the top and on both sides. So you got your uh, your aim, your stun, and this extra button. And what that button is, is uh, it can be programmed uh, by, you hold this button down here on the back, and you can press any button on the controller except the D-pad. and. Uh, this button, these buttons will become sort of an extra one of that button. So, uh, for example, I think most people probably think of it in that if you use the tactical layout, you can hold this down, you can press B, and now when I press this, I'll be able to knife. So, uh, you can, a uh, big thing there is you can knife without taking your finger off the thumbstick here. So, uh, that's pretty cool, I think. Um, Let's see, a, general, a real general thing uh, here is that the buttons are all real uh, clicky. They're almost like mount, mouse buttons. I don't know if you can hear this, um, but yeah, they're all very, very much like that. See if you hear that? And even the face buttons kind of have that, that extra little click. And uh, I don't know, it's just a nice... It feels nice, and uh, I think the buttons are actually more responsive as a result. So, um, yeah, one thing I really like, the face buttons here, they have a lot less travel. That means you have to press them down a much shorter distance. I don't know if you can see that, but, yeah, it's very short. And if you look at this, the uh, standard controller, they sit a lot higher. You have to press them down probably two or three times as far as the Onsa controller. Uh, one negative, it definitely feels a little bit cheaper. It's a like light and uh, I don't know, it just has a, a slightly cheaper feel compared to this. That's one thing. These things are pretty, uh, I don't know, sturdy. They feel heavy duty. I've dropped it a lot and uh, it hasn't broke on me. So, you know, Time will tell if this one is sturdy, but it, it certainly doesn't feel as sturdy as the standard uh, controller. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> I think that is pretty much it. I, I don't have the, uh, as I said, I don't have the tournament edition, so I don't have the adjustable sticks. Uh, but, oh, I wanted to say, just the, the sticks in general, they have a very nice feel to them. They feel pretty similar to the standard Xbox controller, which I like. Uh, they don't have the texture on them. Uh, that the standard controller does, but that doesn't really bother me. They feel a little, actually I think they feel a little bit smoother than the standard one. So, so far I think I prefer the Onsa in that department. Um, someone had asked me about the dead zone on this one, and uh, you know, so far I can't really, I can't give a, a good opinion on that. 
I think they feel pretty similar. That's that's pretty much as far as I'm willing to go at this point. So, uh, yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Um, so overall, yeah, I'd give this this uh, a, a very high grade, probably a, a B plus, A minus. It's definitely as good as this this standard controller. Uh, I don't mind the wire. Some people I know they need the wireless. I don't mind the wired controllers. So. Uh, yeah, I recommend it. If you're thinking about buying it, I highly recommend it. So far, so good for me. I actually <laughs> have not gotten used to using these buttons yet, so hopefully I'll be able to do that. And uh, actually, I wanted to ask you guys, uh, what do you recommend or what would you like to use on this extra button on the left side? Um, I was thinking maybe reload or, or ch switch weapons. I'm not sure, but... Um, Actually, the back button is in a different location. You'll see it's on the bottom here as opposed to next to the Xbox button on the standard. So I was thinking about making it just the back button so I could check the, the score easier. Um, but uh, Or check to see who's alive easier. But uh, yeah, give me, give me your opinions. I'd like to see what you guys would like to do with that extra button if you had, had the controller. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Please uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.